Welcome back to the Med Bros channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the first ever home that I have ever bought myself. So if you guys have been following me, I am a brand new doctor and I had to move out to a new area to do residency. So I thought I would buy a new home. Before you get into it, stop typing. Don't go down there yet. In a future video, I will be going over why it was a better idea for me to actually buy a house than an apartment. I am not loaded. I am a new doctor, a lot of debt, not making a lot, but I will go over how and why it was a better idea to get this house rather than stay in an apartment. So stay tuned for that. But for now, what we're gonna be doing is showing you around this brand new place. Of course, I just moved in. So everything is uh, a little uh, raw and uh, of course questionable. And there will be a lot of questions that come up on why there are things in the house and, and you'll see why. So let's go ahead and show you guys around a little bit and I hope you have some fun. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment down below, especially since we've been way more active now. Shaman's back on the channel. We have a lot more content. Shaman is actually behind the camera right now. You wanna say what's up? What's up everybody? So let's get right into it. Follow along. So let's just start off with where we're at right now, and that is the garage. <laughs> Two car garage. I was originally thinking of making the gym in here, but I think I have a better room, which I will show you guys where I'm actually gonna build a home gym. And that's a whole other video. I'm gonna be making a home gym and make sure you subscribe to watch that. So uh, this is basically your standard two car garage, a bunch of junk. I'm sure there's still some stuff from the other uh, home, like my parents' home and things like that, that I wanna move into my place now. So there'll probably be uh, even more junk. But overall, I think I'm a pretty minimalist guy. So uh, we're gonna try to keep the clutter down. All right, that's enough of the garage. Let's go inside. And you wait right here. I got it. I've always wanted to do this. Go ahead and knock on my door. Oh, hey, uh, welcome, welcome to my crib. Um, this is uh, uh, really MTV new doctor cribs. And, uh, and can we not focus on that? And uh, let me let me make sure we show you guys around. There's some amazing stuff to, to show you here. Okay. So glad you guys came. So glad you guys came. So when you enter, this is what you get. This is what you see. A nice little basic room here, and then a nice little basic dining room here. And uh, why I don't know why there's a single chair there. Um, there's there's going to be a lot of questionable things. Okay. There's going to be a lot of questions that arise, such as why is there a chair just lonely in a room there? Stay with me. They might be answered. I'm thinking I'm trying to figure out how you're affording this place and I think you have <laughs> Nothing but a chair on the inside. <laughs> that is one of the answers as you will see. Some of the questions are gonna arise. Most of them will not be answered. So here we have a uh, another room. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this room. So maybe you guys can help me out in the comments down below of what to do with each room, because I'm still a little unsure. So I have this room here, probably maybe a sofa, maybe something. I was originally planning to make this a gym, but then it would probably be a little too cluttered and I found a better room for it. Uh, over here, it's probably gonna be a dining table once I can afford one. Uh, right now, just a chair. You can sit there in the chair and eat with the food on your lap. It's gonna be comfortable. Don't worry about it. Is that where you eat after work? That is exactly where I eat after work. I get my food, I sit right there in the loneliness of despair, that is medicine, and uh, think about uh, what COVID is doing to the world. But let's move on here. As you can see, beautiful foyer. This is the foyer of the beauty. And then you enter the grand hall. Absolutely amazing grand hall here. This place is massive though. Uh, yeah, I will be hosting a, a ballroom dancing. I will be hosting, uh, you know, I think the president will be stopping by. Uh, here soon for dinner someday. As a med student, this little room here is bigger than my entire apartment. Yeah. It's like three fold. Like I said, if you're wasting your money at renting and apartments and things like that, might not be for everyone, but for me, I will tell you how this is actually more affordable and a better use of my money than the apartment that I was at in previous videos that you saw me shooting in. Again, a lot of questions I know might be arising. Why is your TV stand so weird? What are those things? I don't know. I found them lying around here when I showed up. I used them as a TV stand. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I could uh, maybe afford the house. You, you cut a little corner somewhere else. Again, with these sofas, gonna arise a little bit more questions. These are actually outdoor sofas. We have to bungee cord them together so they all stick together. But we needed somewhere to sit, so we just uh, put it indoors. So probably won't be here very long either. I don't know what we're gonna do for the sofa situation, but uh, this is what it is for now. It looks fine, honestly. You could pass for indoor sofas maybe. 
Okay, so now we are moving on to the kitchen area. As you can see here, I don't have a fridge yet. Like I said, we are very, very new here. So immediately decided to shoot this. So please forgive us for any mess. Absolutely not having a fridge, not having basic utensils. I had that mini fridge though. This is the one I've been using at my other place. So it came in handy. Let me give you guys a little, little tour of the fridge. You know, all the food that I eat, all the healthy, nutritious things. Look at that. Oh my God. Just such a healthy balanced diet for a doctor. Then let's go on to the, to the closet. Th this house, you will see it's a common theme throughout. They love their closets. So here's a closet here. Uh, basic utensils, pots and pans. You're so Indian. You have all the pots and pans that every Indian does, person does. No lie. No lie, straight up. No cap. Every single, oh my, that is so Indian. Oh my God. Roti on roti on roti, folks. My God. Y'all want some roti? Show up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we got the survival snacks. We pocket those on the way out. Uh, oh my God, I am so Indian. The spice cabinet, baby. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. The spice is chewy. Oh my oh God, the smell God. emanating God. from here. Junky chocolate masala. That's enough of that. We're not going to show them any of the secrets. Now we move on from the grand hall into this little crevice. And we have the bathroom. You can go ahead and show them this. Clean for now. Oh, wow. Oh. Again, they love their closets. What is this doing here? I have no idea. Is this a closet or a room? This is where we hide all the bodies. So this is the gym room that I've been talking about. It's a nice little space. You got a window with a beautiful view. You have the mirrors here already pre-installed so I can work out. I don't need to buy mirrors for that. Gonna put a squat rack, a bench press. I already have some dumbbells that I've had previously. I wanna take a second to tell you guys, I have a bunch of videos coming up that have to do with health, nutrition, how to kind of manage yourself through residency, how I stay in shape, how I don't stay in shape. I have a video on obesity coming out. We're gonna go in depth and I did a really interesting take on it. We're gonna be talking about working out as a resident, my workout routine. We're gonna talk about how I fell off my workout routine and my struggles with weight gain. So a bunch of videos along those lines coming up and then how I'm building my home gym. That's gonna be a whole separate video. So stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and show you guys the backyard because uh, of course, this is, this is a lot of, let me tell you guys the work that's gonna be done here. Now we move on to my absolute favorite part of the house on why I had to pull the trigger and get it rather than wasting my money in an apartment. And this is why. And I have a lot of plans for this backyard, folks. I'm definitely gonna get a nice slab of concrete in the back here, put a basketball court up along this veranda that we are under right now. I don't know about the swimming pool or anything like that. Like I said, I'm on a budget. I'm a brand new doctor. I can't afford any of that stuff, but I will put down a nice concrete slab here, put a basketball court up and definitely be shooting hoops in the backyard. And hopefully I can afford some grass as well to get Starkey running around back here whenever he visits because he loves his backyards. For those of you guys that don't know, I was lucky enough to be able to do my residency down in Southern California. The state is absolutely beautiful aside from the smog, but we have caught an absolutely smogless day. The skies are clear blue. This is the best day we could have done this to really show you guys what we're dealing with. And like Shaman said, at night, the whole place is lit up. It's right it's beautiful we got the mountains around there's hawks flying around there's all sorts of hiking trails so i'm really happy with all of that that was one of the main reasons also why i wanted to get a place a little farther from where i actually work i work actually in the city i don't really like the city environment to live in i love working there i love being a part of it but i definitely want the place i live to be a little separated from it a little quieter a little more peaceful so i love this so let's go ahead and show you guys the upstairs All right, guys, let's head on upstairs. Oh, but before we do, in classic Herman fashion, if you've ever been to any of my places, it might look nice around the area, right? It looks pretty clean. It looks pretty clean. It looks pretty clean, right? Don't ever open my closets. So, guys, this brings me to my second favorite part of the house, and that is this place, because this place is actually going to become a studio, as you can see. Work in progress, we got our lights on the floor, these tables here. I'm planning to make a nice little mini set. So in future videos, you guys will definitely see an upgrade in our set and our in-person podcast. I know these upcoming podcasts are probably still gonna be shot over the webcam format that we've been doing, but eventually when we do all three get together, I wanna have a nice set here so that we can get in house podcast slash videos. It's gonna be nice. Let's go ahead and move on to the master bedroom. So that is a futon. That is not a bed. Uh, so I got two things to say. One. 
Why do you have a fan here if you already have AC? And two, why the heck is it on a fucking desk? <laughs> So again, I don't have the desk, that's why the fan is there, but unfortunately the AC and heating has an issue right now, and the same reason internet is an issue right now, so I'm on 4G, uh, because apparently the fiber optic cable or something wasn't pulled and that's going to have to be done on Monday. So I have no internet, I have no AC, I have no heating, so it's kind of hot, so I use the fan. So let's go ahead and move on to the bathroom. Toilet? I have no idea what this is. What is All of it. This is what I have for my toilet reads. This is how uh, I spend my time apparently. My God. I got my uh, beautiful, what do they call this thing? You the toilet. You the toilet? No. This is not a you the toilet. <laughs> whatever, whatever this is. Oh God, everything's breaking. Uh, so that's my shaving stuff. And uh, this is finally nice to have a, a bathroom with uh, all these like cupboards and stuff. Again, they love their closets. There's a closet over there. There's a closet over there, which we'll get into. They love their closets here. So amazing view as well from here. Definitely uh, gonna be showering, looking oh, out wow, there. That is quite a view. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be looking out the uh, window when I shower and uh, having somebody look inside while I shower as well, probably. Um, oh, let's God. go ahead and go again. Look at the, the granddaddy of closets in here. I've never had a closet this big. They love their closets. Do not question, don't, qu don't question it. Don't question it. Just look away. This is the rest of the room here, as you can see. I have my uh, accoutrements. Let me just get this on here. Should have had this on from uh, the beginning of the video. Sorry about that. Uh, I, think we're, I think we're ready to do the rest of the house tour. Are you ready? I will say though that uh, you're not pulling that off, but you are pulling off the wardrobe here. Look at this man's wardrobe here. Can we get some... Uh, Likes for this wardrobe? Beauty meets. I get I wear, I look like this half the time, okay? Not half the time, 90%, 90%. I don't know why I'm picking a British accent. Let's go. Then comes to the part of the house where we're gonna talk about rental properties and renting stuff out in a future video, but this is why. Let's go ahead and show you the rest of the house. Are we gonna find someone like chained up or something around here? Getting some deep and dark parts. <laughs> Here's the laundry room. No laundry set up yet. Again, like I said, we're very new. Why do these like small rooms look like they could be their own rooms? I know they could have made a room out of how some of this stuff. Like. Yeah. Again, very nice closet. They love the closet. Every room has a nice giant closet. Another Jesus empty room. Christ. I have no idea what we're gonna do with this. This might. I don't. What? It's gonna be a printing room, I guess. Move on here. For the rest of the tour, let's go into this house. I feel like some of these rooms could have used another window. Like one window to this room makes it feel like a little bit of a jail cell. Could have done with another window here. Like if you agree. Uh, another, <laughs> another, Are you in the real estate business? Sir? I know. Another <laughs> closet here. Another window. It could have done with another window. You know another thing that I did? Which email is Next room. You know another thing that I considered aside from medicine, and then I also talked about my love for animals, uh, zoology and marine biology and things like that. Another thing that I could have done was architecture because I have a fascination with the way rooms are made and where things can be optimized and improved. This is a nicer room. Again, could have done with another window there. Maybe there's technical architectural regions. I didn't go to architecture school that why they can't do that. But some stuff is just like common sense. Like why did, why did they miss out on that? There's another room. You never mentioned it. That's the one window there's another the one windows. there's another one and That's there's a the laundry room one window again That's the laundry room. in case you ever want to rob this man i'm giving you guys a uh, the shower heads when they're weak it ruins the entire experience okay you need a good shower head so you feel clean otherwise it's like dribbling stuff you're being like dribbled like someone's peeing on you the entire time in the shower like what is that you want a good shower head so i have to go to home depot and like get a shower head and replace both of them because I'm not a fan of them, but overall, overall, the showers themselves are okay. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my new humble abode and be sure to follow along. I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos related to fitness, related to how this house looks after I decorated it a little bit, how I make my home gym, how Shaman's back and he's going to be making a bunch of content and Benin's going to visit in a couple weeks for Christmas and we're going to put out a bunch of stuff. So basically, if you're not subscribed, why are you not subscribed yet? Uh, make sure you like and leave a comment down below. In our recent videos, we've had a lot of good support, a lot of good comments. I appreciate every single one of you guys out there. For all you new bed bros out there, welcome to the family and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.